It's day 85 on Turk Esterone. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews and weekly updates on my journey on Turk Esterone. Right now, taking Black Forest Turk Esterone. It's been 85 days, so I kind of go over each week how I'm feeling, any changes, and just how it's working out for me. All right, just a really, just a really fast, Recap for anybody that's new, um, started, like I said, 85 days ago, just saw some videos. I've been working out since October. Like I started getting in shape back in August and then started working out a little, you know, lifting weights in October, was looking online, watching videos for something to give me a little, little help. I was on, you know, started taking creatine and stuff in December and then, you know, it's like, is there anything else, anything else I should be taking? And it came across the videos on Turk. So I picked up some Gorilla Mines and then Black Forest reached out to me and sent me some of theirs, which is even stronger and cheaper. So I started taking that and it's worked a lot better. So that's what I've been on pretty much since then. I did do another week on Gorilla Mines and just wasn't feeling the same as I was on Black Forest. So I'm sticking with Black Forest now. Uh, like I said, it's, Price varies around $30 for 60 pills and 95% purity compared to 10%. So just a little recap. And before I go into that, I need your help. All of you, anyone that's a Costco member. I'm not a Costco member. I work at Sam's Club. But we don't have Costco here in my town. Like the closest one is like 45 minutes. As I mentioned, I think in the last video, I'm looking for a piece. I'm moving out of here. I'm moving to a new apartment and I want my own um, functional trainer in my apartment. So I've been looking at them. Kind of expensive, but I came across this one from uh, Costco. The Inspire FTX. It has gotten decent reviews. I mean, $14.99 shipped to you. That's a pretty good price, but it does say when you click on it that it's cheaper in club. So let me know if you're a member of Costco and you've seen this there, what is the price in club? Because, you know, if it's a few hundred dollars cheaper, I'll just drive there and pick one up. But with that being said, I've also, I'm kind of torn. I like the SF3, the newer version, because it has the Smith trainer on it too. So I may go with that one. So if you have either one of these in your club and you've seen them, that $24.99 is, is shipped to me again. Um, let me know, what, what is the price? Because like I said, 45 minutes, I'll drive over there and pick one up because they deliver only on Thursdays and I work on Thursday. So I don't know what time, you know, I work till like 3.30. So I wouldn't be home till, you know, close to four. I don't know what time they deliver. I don't want that thing just sitting outside, you know, my apartment door. Um, so I'd rather just go pick it up. So if you know, if you're a member of Costco and you've seen either one of these, drop it down in the comments below. What's the price? I know I'm, if you've been lately, I know they've done sales on that FTX, you know, for like a thousand dollars or so, you know, months and months ago. But if you've been there recently and you know what the prices are, let me know. And as far as the SF3, if you go onto your local, um, bring up your Costco, like when I first brought up the site, like I was looking at it yesterday and then I just brought it up a minute ago so I could put it on my screen here and it wasn't bringing it up. I'm like, wait a minute, they had it on there yesterday for sale. Why is it not now? Well, because it was, it had me, it changed my local club to somewhere else, some other local club. So you may, if you put in your local club and that doesn't come up, they may not have that one. So yeah, so the original club that was on, and I don't know what state it was from, didn't have the SF3. So when I switched it to my local, which really isn't local local, it popped up. So your club may or may not have the SF3, but kind of leaning towards that one. If you have either one, again, drop in the comments, what do you think of them? All right, on to the week. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know I'm going through a move. I'm moving out of this apartment here, and what are we at? Like, it's like at about 10, I think, the 28th I'm planning on moving the last bit of stuff out of here so I'll probably be out the 26th so 10 11 days left man I still got a lot of stuff to move here like I have made trip after trip after trip I mean a lot of the big stuff this will probably go last this room 
I've made so many trips of moving stuff because I got to move out of here. I can't move my new apartment till the first. So I'm like putting all my stuff in my parents' house. And it's just like their living room and kitchen is just loaded with my stuff. And when I move all my couches, my TV and my bed and everything, luckily they're going to be camping during that time. So they won't be home because they won't be able to move in there. It's going to be so much stuff. Uh, but I've made, and I've, and if I come across stuff that I haven't used in like the last year and a half, it's thrown out just in the dumpster. I have made so many. I think our dumpster at our apartment complex is full of my stuff. It is loaded. I threw a gigantic six foot cat tower. My cats don't use that one. They use the smaller ones. So I threw that in there. Tons of stuff. TV stand, garbage bag after garbage bag. And I still, I walk to my apartment, I'm like, oh my God, I still got so much crap to move. So if I haven't used something like in a year, year and a half, it's just gone. I don't need it. All right, so workouts have been, I'm still working out six days a week, but some of them have been a little lackluster just because I'm so busy. Like today is typically, well, this week got screwed up. That's why this video is coming out a day later. I usually have Monday, Tuesdays off. I didn't realize till 325 on Sunday, five minutes before my shift is over, um, that night is inventory night at Sam's Club. They do it once a year where they count everything in the club. Quiet computer. <laughs> they count everything in the club. So the other guys I work in the receiving department had to come in at one in the morning till nine in the one till nine. And they're like, well, who's covering when we're gone? I'm like, it's my day off. It's not me. They're like, you sure? You should check your schedule. So I checked it. I was like, oh shoot, I didn't realize. I just saw, I was just looking. Nope, my hours are the same, 7.30, 3.30 every day. Wait a minute, I'm on Monday. Gosh darn it. I made plans to go boating and stuff. So I had to work Monday, so that kind of backed everything up a little bit. So that's why this is coming out on Wednesday. So yesterday would have been a tap typically, oh my goodness, my son's texting me about the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show. One moment. Did you watch the new, do you watch Obi-Wan Kenobi? I've been so disappointed with this series and I'm getting off track again. The first four episodes, just angry. Like, oh, I just dislike it. Because I'm a big Star Wars Rebels fan. I just was like, what the heck did they do with the Grand Inquisitor? This doesn't make any sense. Not gonna spoil it for you. Episode five is actually pretty darn good. I wasn't angry. I was like, okay. I mean, does it make up for the first four episodes? Mm, not really. We'll see what happens in the final episode. But it was pretty good. I was like, okay. It's making a little more sense not loving it. Apparently he just got Apple TV. He's like, did you see this show? He's, I'm like, I've had Apple TV for over a year. Yes. For all mankind. Amazing. Ted Lasso. Amazing. Mythic Quest. Amazing. I'm filming right now. Now I lost my train of thought. Where was I? I was talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Really good. Season episode five. Amazing. We'll see how episode six is. I lost where I was before that. Like I said, everything got pushed back a day um, because I've been so busy. Uh, I think I took an extra rest day, so everything got backed up today. No. No, I did chest day yesterday, but instead of going, normally I would go to the gym on chest day, but because my boating day got pushed back a day. I did that yesterday. So I didn't go to the, I didn't work out till like 8.30 at night last night. And I was just like, I'll do it here. I don't have time to go to the gym. And same thing today. It's another off day. Typically we go to the gym. I just worked out here because I need to shoot this video. I need to do another video on uh, stupid Pepsi Nitro. Man, I did a video on that. And it's done really well, but I just keep getting so many people like, you poured it wrong. You poured it wrong. But they don't specify like, okay, well, tell me how I'm supposed to do it. Because the can just says, chill, pour hard, enjoy. I poured the damn soda, pop hard. But people are just so angry. You didn't chill it. It wasn't cold. I could tell your pop was warm. Who the frick drinks warm pop? If you do, I'm sorry. I hate warm pop. I don't do warm pop reviews on here. Everything's chilled. Maybe because the can, when I do it, isn't like perspirating, isn't sweating. Because I keep my apartment cold. Like it's like 67 in here. I just, I can't stand warm apartments. Like when I go to sleep, I put it at 61 and I still wake up just covered in sweat. So maybe that's why my cans don't sweat and people think it's warm. 
But so I'm gonna do another video today on the stupid Pepsi Nitro. I'm just gonna be super sarcastic in it just to address all those who think I poured it wrong. So I have that, I have this, I still gotta move a lot of stuff. So I've just been really, really busy, but I'm still getting my workouts in. Still, I'm feeling good. I'm working out really well, really hard. I think last Tuesday when I shot that video, I said it was chest day and I went and I, man, I worked, I had a great chest day. I had a really good chest day because man, I was sore the next two days. Like I haven't been sore in a long time. And I think it was because I had taken a couple weeks off from going to the gym. So there's a, you know, a chest press machine. What would you call it? Incline chest press machine that I hadn't used in a couple days or a couple weeks. And I put, I went even heavier on that one. So I was feeling that for a couple days, which is fine. You know, it's like, okay. So, which now that I skip this week, next week when I go, if I do, because it's gonna be even busier because it's gonna be closer to the time I move. So that's why I wanna get one of these machines so I can have it in my apartment so I don't have, so when I can't get to the gym, I can still get a really good workout in because we have one, of, well, we don't have this machine. We have the Precore FTX at our gym here. And I, and I, I showed that in the video last week and I really like that. Um, but when I move out of here, I don't think my new apartment complex gym, from what I've seen on the pictures, has one. So that's why I would just rather have one in my own apartment that I can work out on all the time. And this, I'm a little upset today. I just got done working out in this gym here. As much as they charge for rent here, they won't turn on the AC. It's 82 degrees in there. I was sweating balls working out. I was just in there just doing arm day, you know, 20 minutes in there because that's all I'm covered in sweat because it's so freaking hot in there. So, um, workouts have been great. The only pain, a little pain in my arm today, and again, I don't think it's from working out. It's from, because I drive the stupid forklift and I work that joystick all day. And I think that's why my I get that pain. Um, but I just put my brace on and then I could work out and I was fine. Um, I have been having some shoulder pain, but again, I think that's from sleeping on the stupid mattress, which I, I got so many things I need to buy. Like now that I want that 2400, it's like, okay, now I'm going to have to put off getting a new mattress for a little bit and we'll see what comes first. Do I get the workout machine or get a new mattress? What's more important to me? Mm. Decisions, but oh well. So I can't really say I've made huge gains this week just because, you know, it's just been so busy. It's probably not going to be till into July where I can just get back to focused on getting my workouts down and getting my life a little more normal again. Um, but I can say I did give this to a couple people. My ex, uh, she hasn't been taking it because she's been dealing with some pain. So she's like, I'm not going to take it right now. I'm, she plans on starting to work out next week she's gonna try to get back in the gym start working out so maybe she'll start taking this and I can give you updates on how she's feeling on it and I've been giving it to my co-worker and he was taking two pills he's down to one pill a day because he's not working out but he says it has been affecting him even on one pill uh, more energy and it's it's helped his sex life He's like, you know what, since I've been on Turk, and I, I didn't get the numbers of how long he normally goes. He's like, yeah, uh, me and my girlfriend rented a hotel room and we went for eight hours. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, eight hours? He's like, yeah, there were some breaks in there. I mean, they didn't like go out and I'm like, don't you eat? Oh yeah, we had some Pop-Tarts and some, uh, Gatorades or whatever. Like, so you just stay in bed for eight hours and it wasn't nonstop sex for eight hours. There'd be little breaks, but you know, he's like, you know, you'd, you'd have sex for a while and then take a little break and it was ready to go again and again and again. So it has helped with the sex life. Eight hours. I don't know. Do you have time for eight hours? I, that was my thing. It was like, how the fuck do you have time for eight hours? My day is too busy. Maybe an hour, that's all I could fit in there. I'm eight hours? I got stuff to do. Places to be. I can't throw away eight hours for I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Leave in the comments below. Would you 
Do you have time to have sex for eight hours? I, I don't know. I guess I'm too busy of a life for that. <laughs> all right. Um, gosh, I didn't give you any weights or anything last week. Like I said, my mind has been all over the place. Just been too freaking busy. Uh, I don't. This week, I weighed myself today 155.6, but I usually weigh myself right when I get up after I go to the bathroom, but I forgot. I ate, I had a banana and 12 ounce protein shake and a uh, energy drink. So then weighed myself. So it was probably like 154.8 or something. Um, body fat is at 12.6. So I think that's right around where it was last time. Kind of pretty consistent. Um, another question. I just, for the first time, because my local, Meyer. Have you ever, have you tried the ghost energy drinks in the cans? Not bad. I think it's like 200 milligrams of caffeine. So I got what, that's what I had this morning. But it was the Sour Patch Blue Raspberry. It's not a morning flavor. I mean, I got used to it as I drank it, but I'm like, mm, this might, I might have to try this next time in the afternoon. Not a morning flavor. Sour Blue Raspberry for breakfast. You're probably thinking, well, who drinks an energy drink? I do. I don't drink, I don't like hot drinks. Like at all, I don't like coffee. I don't like hot apple cider or warm milk. I, hot cocoa, maybe every once, I might have a glass or a cup of hot cocoa once every couple of years. I just don't like hot drinks. So for me, energy drinks for breakfast is a norm. So have you tried the new ghost? But I guess they're not new because I looked up, a, I was like, maybe I have to do an review on them and people have been doing it for a year or so. I've never seen them. They haven't had them around here, but now Meyer has them. So I guess I'll have to start trying some of those out. <sighs> Again, I regress. For those of you who follow these, you know I ramble and I talk about everything. For those of you new who are just like commenting right now, you just, just do a review on the chart. You're just all over the place. I don't want to hear you talk forever. Sorry, this is what these are. This isn't really a Turk review. It's just kind of an update of how it affects me each week and what's going on. And uh, pick, let's throw up a pick. Okay. All right. Left is last week. Right is this week. Um, I don't know. Like when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel like my chest is getting a little bigger, but in the pics, it doesn't really show it. Um, I don't know, maybe the neck. I... Again, there's not gonna be much difference from one week to another, but you know, clearly, for those of you who are new, and this is your first video, Left is week one on Turk, right is day 85 on Turk. So when you look at that, there's, to me, a huge difference. Now you'd say, well, 85 days of working out, there'd be some changes anyways. I don't think that much of a change, honestly. So I, to me, is that all Turk? No, it's because I work out six days a week too, but at the same time, it definitely helps. And you, again, there it is. I work out six days a week, most of the time, unless like now where stuff's going on, but still I squeezed, you know, last night, what? Yes, because I went boating and everything and got a little sunburn. I was like, I wasn't gonna work out. I figured, okay, I'll just take a lazy day. And then it was like 8.30 at night. And I'm like, I'm bored. Like, I want to work out. Like, that's the, I think that's one thing that Turk does for you too is it makes you want to work out. Like, I'm sitting there and like, I don't want to sit here and waste, you know, the next couple hours watching TV and being a load of crap sitting on the couch. I want to do something. I want to work out. So I worked out. And same thing today. I got up and took my two Turks, had my energy drink, and like, I got a lot to do today. I'm working out at, you know, I'm in the gym. I think it was 7.30 I was in there just like working out. I want to work out. Like my, my ex, who we're friends, 
leave it at that. We are friends. There's nothing going on there. I just want to throw that out there. She texted me yesterday and was like, okay, I'm going to start working out again next week. What is your workout routine? How do you, you know, what do you do? And I text it to her. I'm like, pick, 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 pick. these are my days. She's like, you fucking crazy. I don't want to work out six days a week. I'm like, okay, well, combine your arm days and your chest days together, and that'll give you three days off instead of one day off. I'm like, I, I'm like, you may change your mind once you start taking Turk because I like working out. I want to work out. Days, my day off on Saturday, and I'm like, I want to work out, but I know I shouldn't. I need to rest. I'm like, you may change your mind once you start getting on Turk. You may want to work out all the time. Like, so. Uh, yeah, so would I have those gains without Turk? Probably not because, again, it makes you want to work out, at least for me. It may not for you, and it helps you recover faster. You know, if I hadn't been taking Turk that whole time, there probably would have been more off days, more soreness, maybe more injuries, maybe less desire to work out. So I don't know where I would have been you know, from that day to 85 days later, how much of a change? I think there'd be some change, but I don't think as much as you're seeing. If you're taking Turk, throw in the comments, how long have you been on it? What is it doing for you? Again, Turk is, for the new people who haven't been here, I, I call it, I tell people it's like creatine 2.0. It's just another version. I mean, it's not creatine, but it affects you kind of like creatine in a way it's going to give you kind of those same results, maybe a, to me, a little bit more. Um, it's not going to build muscle for you. It's not going to just magically take Turk and I'm not going to go to the gym and I'm just going to be jacked. It's not going to work like that. It's going to help you, again, I've said it many times before, recover faster, give you, to me, more desire to work out to achieve those results. You're going to achieve the results. Turk is going to help you along the way. Also, like I've said last week, sleep has been really good, like really good. Like this last couple of days, I've been, typically I wake up maybe like an, if I set my alarm for 6 a.m., I'm up at five, I wake up at five. These last couple of days, I've been sleeping to my alarm, which is a rarity. So I'm sleeping good. I may get up at one time in the mor middle of the night. One, because my, I have two cats. They know my routine. Like they know when I get up, so they know I typically get up around 12.30 and you know, I go to bed, I get in bed at like 9.30 at night, play my phone for half hour, 45, it used to be like an hour, now I get fall asleep even quicker, I'm like starting to get tired. So maybe 10, 10, 15, I fall asleep. 12, 12.30 I get up, usually go to the bathroom. And I'm thinking I'm waking up because they know that I usually get up at that time, so they come in the room and they start making noise and stuff because they want a treat at that time. So they get their treat. And then uh, like on my days off, I'm like, okay, I want to sleep past six. I'm turning my alarm off. I want to sleep in a little later. I don't need to get up at 6 a.m. They're in my room at 6 a.m. Even today, exactly at 6 a.m. I see one sitting on the windowsill just staring at me. The other one's on the end of the bed staring at me, just waiting, waiting for me to open my eyes. And as soon as I peek at them, they're running around the race and they're like, it's time to get up. We want, we want to eat. Even though they got food in their bowl that they won't eat, they just want treats. I have spoiled little cats. All they eat is treats. So I can't even sleep in when I want to sleep in. But Turk helps me sleep so good, like really good. Um, yeah, so I, again, I, I, there's, I, I can say almost with 100%, I would not have the results that you're seeing there without Turk. Like it just wouldn't happen. Yes, I'd have results, but I don't, nowhere near that. So if you've been taking uh, Turk, um, and I know a lot of you have commented like it's working really well for you. And I know a lot of you commented that there's a lot of people that are skeptical about Black Forest. Just read the comments on my videos. There's so many of you that are taking it who say you get way better results on this than this brand. And then I had someone comment and I, I don't know. They, somewhere there was a study and they didn't really specify where the study was from, who did the study that, they didn't do Turk, they wanted the, the information on Turk, which I think you can get off their website or it's in one of my videos from like a month ago, I showed the uh, lab results. They said somebody did 
testing on this and Turk Builder and whatever, and there was like zero Turkestrone in the pills. I, I don't know if you've heard this study or whatever. Okay, but. And then that one guy, I don't even know who he is because I don't watch him. And Coach Greg kind of went after him too. He's doing shorts saying that Turk is just a placebo, yet he's never even tried it. I can assure you, Turk works. It works for me. As a lot of people say, it's like most things. It may or may not work for everyone. Just because you take it and you don't get the same results doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means your body doesn't react to it the way that others do. So you don't know until you try it. Is a link in the description where you can purchase this. Yes, I do make a small commission off it and it helps me out and it's greatly appreciated. Again, I've said it a thousand times, if you want to try Black Forest, link down there. You purchase it. It's one of the cheapest versions, not not version, cheapest available Turk on the market. 60 pills, around $30, 95% purity in this versus 10% in all the other brands. So you take less of these to achieve the same results as you would get in these where these are, gosh, I think I paid $60 for 60 of these. And I'd have to take what, like six, six to eight of these to equal one of these. I'm on four of these right now. Just so you know, I've been taking two in the morning and then two when I get home from work, like right before I work out. And do you need to take four? Probably not. One might work for you, maybe two. Just try different levels if you're on this to see what works for you. Me, I'm just doing four to see what kind of results I can get off four of them. Again, leave in the comments below if you're trying them. How's Turk working for you? What kind of things is it doing for you? Are you recovering faster? Is it helping with your sleep? Is it helping with your sex life? Throw it down there, let me know. And again, I will keep updating you. Uh, and we'll see, you know, where's the next 85 days on Turk go? You know, how much... Obviously, I don't think I'm going to keep seeing the gains that I've seen from day one to day 85. Like, I, I don't think, but I don't know. We'll see, especially if I get that piece of gym equipment and I can have it in my apartment and I can work out all the time and not have to be in like an 85 degree gym. I mean, even Planet Fitness, which I'm a member of, that's where I usually go twice a day. Uh, not twice a day, twice a week. Um, and one reason I kind of stopped going there for a little bit too, and I'm like, oh, I'll just work out here. I don't think they're turning on the AC in there either. Like I'm going there doing the same routines that I normally do, and I'm just sweating balls. I'm like, why is it so freaking hot? And these last two days here in Michigan, and I know it's been hot everywhere. It was 92 yesterday, and it's, like I said, I just worked out at seven in the morning. It was already 82 degrees in the gym, and it's supposed to be like 92 degrees outside. It's nice and cool in here because I keep my AC on all day long. So that's one reason why I haven't been going to the gym as much. So that's why I want my own piece of gym equipment that I can work out in my apartment at my own temperature. All right. So I will see you guys next week. Um, should be the normal back to Tuesday because I don't think my schedule's changed. I keep an eye on it, but I will keep you posted. Again, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave it down in the comments below. Like I said, Black Forest reads most of them they watch the videos so you have any concerns and i bring them up you know usually they will answer them for me all right if you've enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i'll see you next week